var, let, and const are three keywords that you can use to declare variables in JavaScript. These keywords also have their differences. Before, I used to think that only variables declared with the var keyword are hoisted, but recently I learned that even variables declared with let and const are also hoisted, but they are hoisted differently. Now, if you don't know what hoisting means, hoisting is a concept in JavaScript where a variable is hoisted to the top of the scope it is declared in, and this makes it possible for you to reference that variable even before the line that you actually declared it. And of course, this can also produce errors in some cases. And I'm using an example here to show you the differences between how variables are hoisted with var and also how they are hoisted with let and const. So look at this example. We have function print here. And inside of print on line 6, we declare a num variable and we assign the 50 value to it. And in line 4, we are trying to assess the num variable before it was actually declared in code. But due to hoisting, this num variable is going to be hoisted to the top of the scope that it is declared in. In this case, this is a local scope because this is a function. Now, if I run this file, you can see that we have undefined. Instead of getting an error that states like we're trying to assess a variable before it was declared, we're getting undefined. And that's because when you declare variables with var, the variable is hoisted to the top of the scope, but it is not hoisted with the value you initialize it with. Instead, there will be a default initialization of undefined. So this num variable will be undefined due to hoisting. But down here, if I try to console log num and I run no test, you can see we now get 50 because this line is executed and then we have the initialization that we want. Now, what if we use let? So let's change this var here to let. If I run no test, you can see now we have a reference error that says cannot access num before initialization. I can also show you an example here with const. If I clear the console and I also try to run this with const, you can see we get the similar error. Now, before I used to think that let and const does not hoist variables, but then I learned that let and const actually hoist variables also. But the difference is that when you use var, the variable name num is hoisted, but with a default initialization of undefined, which I showed you earlier. I can show you that again. You can see this is undefined. But when you use let and const, it hoists the variable name, but there is no default initialization. And that's why you get this reference error. And if you read this reference error, it says cannot assess num before initialization. Assuming let and const does not hoist variables, what you should be getting is an undefined error. Let's say, for example, outside this function, I want to console log num. I'm going to comment this one for now. If I run this, you see what we get is reference error num is not defined. Num is not defined means here that the num variable does not exist. And that's because you cannot access this num variable outside this function. So you can see the error here is different. Num is not defined. But if I try to console log num here before the line, it was actually declared. Instead of getting num is not defined, we get cannot access num before initialization. So when you look at these two different errors, you realize that this num variable is actually hoisted, but because it is not hoisted with a default value, then that is why we get this reference error. So if you were like me before who used to think that only variables with var are hoisted, I hope now you can see that even let and const also hoist variables. The hoisting is just different. Variables declared with var are hoisted, but with a default value of undefined, but with let and const, they are hoisted, but without a default value. And that's why when you try to assess it before the line of declaration, you get a reference error. This variable has not been initialized. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also subscribe and turn on notifications for more concepts I'll be explaining in JavaScript.